Welcome back to Real Estate Talk. Yes, live in the studios, what I consider a one percenter. Thank you for joining us this Sunday morning, Mr. John Sturgis. Thanks for having me. Keller Williams Southlake. You can reach out to him directly at 817-832-7473. You know, builders are building at record pace mm -hmm. in Dallas and nationally we're in the number one market in the country. Mm -hmm. 35,000 starts That's this right. year. Mm -hmm. I, I kind of tease my my listener. You know what the number two market in the country is? I believe it's Houston. Yeah, it's down south in yeah. Houston. And so uh, North Texas has a lot of good things going for it. I primarily think it is the job market because jobs drive housing. Um, and we got a heck of a job market here in North Texas. Yeah. You know, it's, it is primarily job market related because again, as I cited earlier, you've got all these newly created jobs. You've got more companies that are still playing on coming in, some of which we don't even know yet, but it's been kind of amazing to me how many people have actually relocated here from other states because they're sick and tired of the rules and regulations in some of those states. Sure. And so they just want out because they feel like they're being taxed to death or regulated to death. And they see Texas as being a, more of a friendly place to, to, to live, if you will, overall. And so it just becomes a natural destination for a lot of people. Sure. Um, that being said, new home builders are focusing on affordable homes. Mm -hmm. That would be in the 200 to three hundred thousand dollar range, and I say that right. Yeah, they're they're nobody's really building any hundred seventy five thousand dollar homes out there. No, you no, know, they just they're just not they're not worth it. So, especially with the prices have gone up so much, as I mentioned earlier, you know, if you could buy a hundred seventy five thousand dollar house five years ago for one hundred seventy five today, you'd pay two seventy five. So those price points have moved up. So yeah, the builders are looking at where is the buyer activity concentrated. And if you look at the, the statistics we have, well over 50% of the buying market is concentrated in that category that's somewhere in that two hundred to maybe $400,000 range. Mm -hmm. That's the break point. Yeah. That's why when you go above four hundred, dollars that's why we were talking earlier, you're seeing a little bit of a different dynamic market-wise. But in that two to $400,000 range, you've got all these buyers that are out there, and the builders know this. And mm -hmm. so the builders are trying to tap into that as well. So that is another reason that you know when sellers have to be careful because they're now competing in some cases with new new builds. Yep. Okay. Now people may will have to drive a little farther for those new builds, but in many cases they're getting master plan communities with parks and pools and playgrounds and walking sure. trails and stuff like that. So they're trying to make it right. The overall uh, we've noticed that the overall like lot sizes for the new homes are a lot smaller because mm -hmm. they can build more product when they stack the homes a little closer together. But they try to make it right by giving all the community activity stuff sure. that we just mentioned to make it right. So you're not going to have like a really big backyard necessarily. So that kind of gives us an overview of the market. John Sturgis provided that to you, 817-832-7473. And then the next segment we're going to talk about, but before I get into this, will be, so what can the seller expect marching forward in 2019? John. I have to be very careful how I say this on the air, and I'm going to say it. I have to. <laughs> I'm prepared. Um, when you're selling a home, mm -hmm. one of the biggest challenges you have as a homeowner is picking the real estate agent. Mm -hmm. In many cases, I call it the brother-in-law syndrome. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And a lot of people pick because they want to give somebody a chance or they don't want to make them mad or, or they, they don't want to call division make them in the family or, or maybe their son-in-law is just newly out of the champion right. school of real estate right. and they want to give him a shot right i, I argue that point uh, i argue it all the time yeah and it, it is um it is one of the most important things i put it up there with choosing a doctor a lawyer absolutely uh anything professional you do because a top producing real estate agent right. understands this theory and tell me if I'm wrong, a fair day's pay at a fair day's work, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And believe you me, when I say that real estate agents are worth every dime you spend on them, I say that because really to get paid a commission, the real estate agent is working non-stop on behalf of you, the seller. 
Mm-hmm. And there's an old saying, if you think it's expensive to hire a pro, hire an amateur. Yeah. Right? Absolutely. And, and you've told me some stories of things that go on, why people do things. Um, this would be the advice part of this hour. Um Really do your homework when come when you come to choosing a real estate agent. Here's a red flag. A real estate agent that is A, part-time, mm-hmm. B, will reduce their commissions. Mm-hmm. That's a red flag. Mm-hmm. And C, doesn't answer the phone, mm-hmm. right? Those are all red flags. Mm-hmm. Recent, or isn't available, you know, on a Sunday, you know, because they got family. I mean, whatever that looks like. I mean, there are so many different reasons that realtors – you know, lose clients because they're just not up to performing at the high level that we expect ourselves to be held to. Yeah. Yeah. And I got to tell you, I formed a website, willylambright.com, and there's 12 realtors out of the 50,000 plus agents that are out there (laughs) that I choose because I know that when you call them, they're going to answer the phone. Right. I know that they're going to do a fair day's work at a fair day's pay. Right. I know that they're not going to reduce their commissions, and I don't want them to do that because right. they're worth every dime you spend on them. Right. You know, you don't want an agent trying to pick and choose where to spend their time with listings or whatever. If one listing uh, is paying them the fair rate, you know, that they negotiated, and then they cut their their rate on another one, which one do you think they're really going to be promoting and pushing? Oh, How it's much human time nature. are they going to be? It's, it's, it's human nature. It's human nature all the time. And so, you know, you have to find the agent that really knows what they're doing. And going back to your comments about, you know, newly minted, maybe his brother-in-law or something like that. I mean, there's nothing wrong with those people. But if they're not seasoned in a market like this, it's got so many moving parts. If you don't understand how it all fits together, you could lose sight of the ball real quick. Yeah. I mean, you're talking about that sweet spot between 300,000 and 400,000. Average days on the market is one and a half months in a shifting market. Mm-hmm. Um, man, I want the I want the best guy in mm-hmm. the land mm-hmm. representing me, mm-hmm. and I don't mind paying him because I want to be in and out of that house, mm-hmm. moving on to the next buying mm-hmm. opportunity before rates go up, right. and so on and so forth. Yeah, and uh, you know, and a lot of the thing that maybe a lot of people may or may not know, and I always try to emphasize this with people, is you know when you talk again about the seasoned a uh, uh, seasoned agent. You know, buyers sometimes don't understand that they're not going to pay that agent anything. The seller is basically advertising a sum that says, if you, any sell, any buyer's agent has a buyer and you come in and complete this deal, we will compensate you to X. So the buyer doesn't understand that, that this person that they need to be choosing needs to be somebody that really knows what they're doing here because they're not paying them in the first place. Okay, Mm -hmm. so don't just go out and choose somebody randomly, you know, or somebody that, you know, you you see on a, a, I don't know, on the Internet or something like that, because you don't know who these people are. You don't know how they work. You don't know what their record is. And so, like you said, interview them, find out what your skill set, that kind of thing. I mean, it's critical to know how to negotiate in this in this kind of a market. Mm -hmm. Critical. I mean, you can get beat up so badly. You can get taken advantage of by another seasoned agent if you don't know how to negotiate correctly. And sometimes, especially when, when a buyer's involved, there are little tricks of the trade that we employ that other agents don't really maybe think about or don't know, and we use them to to uh, great effectiveness. Well, it goes back to common sense, John, and you get what you pay for. Yes, yeah. And at the end of the day, remember, the seller pays for the buyer's agent, and it doesn't cost you a dime. Mm-hmm. That being said, I recommend John Sturgis. Uh, He'll do you a good job whether you're buying or selling a home. It doesn't matter where you're at in Dallas, America. Uh, He is going to give you his all. His number is 817-832-7473. Again, 817-832-7473. Have we left anything out about this? I don't, I don't think so. I mean, we covered it uh, pretty extensively. I just, it's just, like I said, it's important to have a good agent, know what they're doing. And here's the thing, too. One last thing. You've got a friend. You've got a, a brother-in-law, whatever. Are you going to be able to have a hard conversation with that person mm-hmm. that could possibly cause, you know, a split in the relationship or a friendship? I tell people, you can yell at me all you want. If I'm not doing my job, I'll fix it or I'll find somebody that will. That yeah. kind of thing. Take, you know, feel free. Don't hold back. Yeah. And I don't have anybody yelling at me, by the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> at the end of the day... Um, Make a hard decision and pick a pro when selling your real estate. The thing that just aggravates the heck out of me is that when people want to become realtors themselves and they're going to try to cut corners, there's no cutting corners. Mm -mm. 
these professional real estate agents work all day long in this market and they're worth every dime you spend on them john sturgis over at keller williams south lake i highly recommend him 817-832-7473 again 817-832-7473 so when we come back if you're selling a house here's what we're going to you should can expect in 2019 you know what friend we'll be back in a well skosh